Okay, this is Umber's new cage, and it's totally finished. So as you can see, this is, let me just open it up here. I just open it like that. He has his basking spot, and there's a cutout there because when the door closes and it does that. But he has his water bowl right there on the tile so it doesn't get on the wood. There's some water on that. Um, then he has his ramp that has carpet on it so he doesn't fall off and or slide or anything. He's actually right back here. You can see his tail sort of. But yeah, let me just do this. So you can see down there. You can see his cave. He has a bunch of plants. And over here there's rocks. Let's see if I can see him now. You can see his head. Hello. Okay. And this is the finished product. And yeah, it has the box. And it has the substrate or the echo earth on the bottom. And I used a whole bag of it. I'm, I thought I would need more, but I guess I don't. But for future plans, I want to get this whole top area filled with tile. And then that water bowl will probably be there forever. And I want to put something there. And probably later I'll get a bigger cave to go under there. But it's kind of weird because I guess I didn't measure right or something like that because I thought it was four feet from there to there but as you can see there's gaps there. and then there's a gap from here to here but it's fine it's it's great it looks really good and Nathan won't be quiet Thank you for watching, and um, there will be more videos coming soon, and let me just give you one last look at Umber. There's Umber, and you can see how big his cage is compared to him, it's really big. He has a lot of room to wander around. Hey, come here. I think he's happy. Hopefully he doesn't, like, fall off the edge or anything. But I don't think he will. I think he's smart enough to not do that. But I'm hoping that pretty soon he'll figure out everything, like where his water bowl is, the basking area, and everything else but thank you for watching